this is what I leave it has been well cut into slices and it will be ready for cooking after everything has been well prepared this is it like i told you earlier the next this is the next stage which is cutting the water leaf cutting it into slice small small slices you don't leave it as whole leaf you slice it into small small slices just like this Place it on your cutting board with your inside your tray and your knife to cut it just like this to slice it just like this slice it into big bits when you slice it like this into bits it will help it to to blend fast with other things in the pot this is it the water leaf remember leaves green leaves like this contains some vitamins and some mineral salts that are needful for the body that's why it is advisable we should eat more of vegetable foods Than the food because it contains minerals, mineral salts, vitamins that helps to build up the body system, helps to improve our immune system. It helps to boost our blood systems so that's why we go for more of vegetables in our meals this is what we call water leaf when you want to prepare water leaf soup you go and get your water leaf from the market or from your garden <clears throat> then you will wash it just as i'm doing wash it very well to avoid dirt and sand at least you have to wash it about four times depending on the quantity wash it until the water is totally clean before you proceed to the next level so right now what i'm doing is watching washing the water leaf to make it clean and see if you look at the water the water is very clean you know that is inside i've washed it up to four times with clean water after that i also have a <clears throat> pumpkin leaf pumpkin i put it also inside the clean water i washed it up to four times now to 
make sure the pumpkin leaf is totally clean so right now this one i'm washing now is the pumpkin leaf you also get it from the market or look at it it has a broad leaf then the water leaf wash it clean i said you can get it from your from the markets or your garden where you planted it after after washing you will proceed to the next stage look at it The next one now is the pumpkin leaf. Um, it's ready to be to be cut into slice. Also, this is it. This is it. Mm, you slice it. You gather it up this way so that you can slice it easily. Then you begin to cut it in the slice Ooh, just as just as the water leaf you have to do this so that it will blend very well in the pot with the water leaf and other ingredients to make a good cook. Because it has a broad leaf so if you just leave it like that and put it into the pot it won't be palatable in fact everybody will reject the food um now the pot is on the fire you put your your palm or your red oil put it inside the pot allow allow it to 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 be hot then when the, the oil is hot after then you add your onion you add your onion Add your onion, add your onion, your maggi cube, your non cube, your non, your non, you add your, you take your non, a cube of your non, cube of your non, and you now add to it, put it in the pot. And then, after then, you add your your pepper, your grinded pepper with your crayfish. Put it inside and stir. Stir it. Then you now add your water leaf. Now I'm adding my water leaf. Adding my water leaf. 
Yes, the same water leaf. You add your water leaf. Add your water leaf in the hot oil. Add it in the hot oil. Then you now stir. Stir it. Now today I decided to cook it this way by putting my oil into the pot and allowing it to be hot, very hot before I put my pepper, my fish, my non, my my uh, onion. Then I added the, <coughs> the water leaf. I'm going to allow the water leaf to boil. Now I'm not adding my salt. Remember, I did not add my salt from the beginning. Why? Why I did that is because salt mixed with hot oil, it produces some toxic and chemical. Yes, it produces some. When you add oil into, you add a salt into hot boiling oil, it produces some reactions that are not that good for the health. So boil, boil very well because I'm not going to put the pumpkin leaf. That is the vegetable leaf. Why? I like to boil too much again. After you allow it to boil, you put your add your your fish. Add your fish. You can use any type of fish at all. Add it. It's there. The next thing now is for me to add the next one is to add my, my meat, my steamed meat and stay. Then I will allow it to boil for a while. The next thing now is for me to add my perinko. I have already cut it the way they do. Perinko is seafood. Look at it. I add it, but not everybody knows it or not everybody eats it. So some persons doesn't add it to their soup. So I'm adding it now. Then you stir it to enter properly into the soup. Then I like to boil for some minutes, about three more minutes over the pot. The next thing now is to add the pumpkin leaf. I'm not adding it. I'm not adding the pumpkin box to little little slices. After that, you stir with your spoon. Stir it up. it 
now. To have mix of what then I will boil on Now the soup is set to be served. This is what they call water leaf soup. With a table pumpkin. I would like you to subscribe to our channel for more info. For more of this, subscribe to our channel, um, Home of Fascinating Story. Thank you very much.